a solemn message from Oslo. The Norwegian company Statoil operates the Algerian gas field along with British firm BP. The situation in Algeria is serious and difficult. We have just finished a meeting in the Government Safety Council, and I can confirm that 13 Norwegians are being held hostage. The Algerian Interior Ministry said one Briton and one Algerian were killed early in the raid. At least two dozen hostages are being held, including citizens from Algeria, Norway, Japan, the United States and the UK, among others. Uh, this is an absolute tragedy, of course, in this uh, d dangerous and rapidly developing situation. It is, in this case, the cold-blooded murder of people going about their business. Uh, so there is no excuse whether it be connected to Libya, Mali or anywhere else. The United States pledged to take all necessary steps to resolve what it's calling a terrorist attack, but has yet to give details. We're in contact with Algerian authorities and our diplomatic counterparts in Algiers, as well as with BP's security office in London. The best information that we have at this time is that U.S. citizens are among the hostages. Five Japanese nationals were also captured. We will place priority on human lives, and we are handling this through diplomatic channels. Meanwhile, French President François Hollande said there was a connection between the kidnappings and the Malian operation. The Islamists who are linked to al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb want the operation halted.